It works again. Hey everyone, what's happening? And today we're talking about my computer and how I got it working again. Now, as many of you know, in my last video, I had broken my system and I was going to just wipe it out and I did. And I was thinking about putting Zubuntu on it, but I chose a different distribution. And the distribution I went with was actually MX Linux because I've actually never used it. So um, we're going to be uh, diving into that in a second. There are a couple initial changes I, I made. I pulled down my XFCE config files. So it doesn't have the default MX Linux layout. And other than that, um, there are some other behind the scenes changes I've made. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at my desktop. So here I am on my desktop. As you know, MX Linux has its own theming and stuff. I restored my own theming to it. And uh, there are quite a few little changes I've made to this. And I have a couple problems as well. But uh, they're not major problems and they're easily fixed. Uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look. Because MX Linux is based off of Debian Stable. We have a... Uh, Linux kernel 4.19. Uh, that's got to actually go with my system because I'm having a couple hardware issues that I didn't have with newer kernels. And it has to do with my touchpad and it's registering clicks when I didn't click while I'm trying to type and nothing's touching it. It's, it's obviously something with the drivers. Uh, but uh, that's beside the point. Um, well, man, if I can actually type. Of course, we're working with XFCE4. Um, of course, I've put the icon black and the uh, put all the icon sets that I want. On, and the theme is uh, black like it was on my other system. Now, that kernel that will probably be swapped out with the Liquix kernel when I update it because, quite honestly, there are other little issues with my NVIDIA drivers as well. Um, that is having a problem with it. Now, um, also with my uh, OBS Studio right here, um, there, are a few other, there are a few other things uh, that we're having issues with. One is um, it won't let me use the NVIDIA encoder for some reason. I, I think it's because it's a really old version of OBS because it's Debian stable, so I'll probably have to do a little configuration there, but I'm able to do it with the uh, CPU encoding uh, for right now. Um, other things. Now, um, there is one other thing I did behind the scenes, and that, that was uh, the init system. Now, MX Linux does not ship with systemd as its default. It's actually sysv init. I have some things that depend on different init systems, and sysv init does not work with it. So I swapped out sysv init with systemd, and actually MX Linux makes it very easy because they ship it with systemd already installed. All you have to do is either go into Grub and um, switch it out, or uh, or run a certain install package and it'll switch it out for you. Now I pulled sysv init from the system. It's no longer installed because I'm not gonna use it, but now I'm running systemd. So, so overall, everything seems to be working just fine, at least for right now, except for those hardware issues. But I'm gonna update the kernel in a little bit. And uh, I'll probably, pull this version of OBS because it crashes too. So I've, it's already crashed three or four times on me while trying to make this video. Um, this, I think that this, I think that's the version that we're using because uh, this version of OBS is something like six or seven months old. So um, I'm probably just going to pull this and install the snap or the flat pack version of OBS and configure it the way I want to so I have all the up-to-date features and it doesn't crash. If you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you didn't, that's what that thumbs down button is for and click that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.